Hello, I am Lawrence Skubanek, president of Texas Tech University. It is my pleasure to welcome each of you to this, the August 2020 virtual commencement of Texas Tech University. Please join me in a moment of reflection for our national anthem performed by the faculty membership at the Texas Tech University School of Music. Graduation is one of those special days in your life. This day represents the culmination of an incredible amount of work, determination, and sacrifice by you, but also by your family and all those who supported you. And what you've achieved is not diminished because we will gather to watch this virtual commencement ceremony on your television, laptops, or phones. As I told the graduates in May, it is not the graduation ceremony you would have ever envisioned when you began your college studies at Texas Tech. I would much rather be standing in front of you in the presence of your loved ones at the United Supermarkets Arena instead of looking into this camera. But we must not let the circumstances we face dampen our spirit of celebration for all that you, the August class of 2020, has accomplished. For some, Graduation represents another step in your academic journey, and for others, the beginning of a completely new chapter of your life. The pathway to this moment has presented obstacles, academic, personal, financial. But you have overcome those obstacles and met the challenges that were presented to you. That is why today we celebrate your spirit and your perseverance. These unprecedented times provide us with a valuable lesson on just how quickly life circumstances can change. But despite the challenges and the uncertainties we are facing, it is important to remember that your time at Texas Tech has prepared you for this moment and for your future. As Texas Tech has evolved into a world-class institution of higher education, we have remained true to what distinguishes our university, a sense of family, a place where students come first, and our graduates not only excel in their profession, but are leaders in their communities and known for their generosity and compassion. As a tier one research institution, we play a critical role in providing solutions that impact the quality of life, not only in West Texas, but in the entire state and the nation. These traits of the Red Raider family have been so evident as we have responded to this pandemic. It's in our DNA as Red Raiders to roll up our sleeves, go to work, and face our challenges head on. As August 2020 graduates, the skills and the character you have developed while a student at Texas Tech will position you to make special contributions now and in the future. That's what it means to be Red Raiders. Today, your immediate connection to Texas Tech is changing but you remain a part of the Texas Tech family, a family that is built on close personal relationships, common experiences, 
and a love and passion for a place where you spent some of the most defining years of your life. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ted Mitchell, Chancellor of the Texas Tech University System. From the Texas Tech University System, welcome to graduation. I realize this is very different than what we're all used to with traditional graduation ceremonies. And if you think about it for just a minute, all of the degrees that you're getting now are representations of your ability to solve problems. And in this particular environment, this is a perfect example of what that means. Finding yourself with a challenge, looking for an opportunity related to that challenge, and then making the best of it. So those of you that are graduating today, think about this for just a moment. This is not the first challenge that we've faced as a nation. Look at your parents. Most of your parents would have lived through things like the Cuban Missile Crisis, the assassination of a president, the assassination of Martin Luther King. In the 70s, they would have lived through things like the Watergate Crisis, the Arab oil embargo, the Iranian hostage situation. In the 80s, they would have been around during the collapse of the Soviet Union and the falling of the Berlin Wall. And most of you then were born by the time that we had to face things like the Y2K bug, the 2000 dot-com bubble burst with the economy really tanking at that time. And then of course, there was September 11th. Your parents and you have lived through either one or even two wars in Iraq. The point with all of this is that as a nation and as a people, we've had to deal with crisis time and again and again. But I want you to remember something. Think back on your own childhood. Think back on what your parents did for you. During any of these times of crisis, what your families would do, what your parents would do, is they would still get up every morning, they'd fix you breakfast with a smile, they would get you ready for school, they would go to work, they would save money to prepare for your future. So here you are today. You're now receiving degrees that will allow you to do things that very few people in society can do. The educations that you've received and the degrees that you're being awarded today are representative of your ability to face challenges, overcome them, and not just survive, but thrive. So as part of this historical, virtual graduation ceremony, I would ask that you reflect for just a few minutes about the challenges that in your lifetime we have faced as a nation, about the challenges that your parents faced. And as you look forward, think about the things you can do to make this world a better place for those that will come after you, including someday your own children. Just remember always to strive for honor. And now it's my great privilege to introduce Chairman Christopher Huckabee, a graduate of Texas Tech University, and he will bring you a welcome on behalf of our Board of Regents. Thank you, Chancellor Mitchell. On behalf of the Texas Tech University System Board of Regents, welcome to virtual graduation and congratulations to the parents, family members, and friends who join us today. This is a time of celebration, not only for each graduate, but also for our faculty who've invested themselves in each of our graduates this year. As a Texas Tech alum and fellow Red Raider, I pay tribute to those of you who will receive your diplomas today. The fact that you have reached this milestone is a sign of your commitment and dedication. You earned this degree through hard work and determination. We congratulate you. You pushed through the obstacles and you made it to this point. Well done. I'm sure many of you are already thinking fondly of the memories you created as a student at Texas Tech. As for some of those memories, I have advice. Sometimes what happened in Lubbock just needs to stay in Lubbock. I know that many of you are excited for this day so you can depart to that new job, the new city, or that next big adventure. 
But the longer you're away from Texas Tech, the more you will realize it's those little things that make being a Red Raider so special. You will come to realize the special traditions that hold all Red Raiders together and make us in many respects a family. Someday you'll be in a faraway city and you'll notice a double T on the car in front of you or you'll see someone proudly wearing a Texas Tech shirt. You'll feel an instant urge to get your guns up high. Again, a bit of advice. That guns up thing in the airport security line does not always work as our friends at TSA just don't seem to understand. So be careful with that one. Even when you aren't wearing red and black on the outside, I hope that you will always have it in your heart. Regardless of what you do, I am confident that you will become part of another tradition at Texas Tech. Graduates who've become leaders in their families and their communities. Maybe you'll go on to become rich and famous. Maybe you'll lead corporations, states, or even our nation. Regardless of where your career path leads, try to live by the words of the Matador song. Strive for honor evermore. If you do that, you will always find success. To all graduates today, congratulations. Please keep in touch. You are always welcome here. And as always, God bless Texas Tech. Thank you, Chairman Huckabee. It is now my pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker, Regent Ginger Carrick. Ms. Carrick is the Deputy Director of the Exploration, Integration, and Sciences Directorate at NASA at Johnson Space Center in Houston. She began working for NASA as a summer intern in 1991 and started her first permanent assignment in May 1994 as a materials research engineer. In 1995, she was reassigned to the Mission Operations Directorate as an instructor for the International Space Station Environmental and Life Support System. She served as NASA's first Russian training integration instructor in 1997, providing support to the first crew that would live on board the International Space Station. In 2001, Ms. Carrick was selected as the first non-astronaut capsule commander, the person in mission control who speaks to the on-orbit crew. She was appointed a flight director in February of 2005, becoming the first female Hispanic flight director in NASA's history. She has been recognized by the Texas Governor's Commission for Women for her outstanding leadership and service to the nation's space program, as well as her commitment to inspire others through giving back. In 2006, she was one of five women named to the Texas Women's Hall of Fame and was recognized as a distinguished alumna in 2012 by the Texas Tech Alumni Association. Ms. Carrick is a native of El Paso and a two-time Texas Tech graduate receiving a bachelor and a master's degree in physics. The entire Texas Tech community is proud of Ginger Carrick and we are honored that she is addressing our graduates today. Hello, class of 2020. I am Ginger Carrick, and I am very grateful to have the privilege of speaking to you today, my fellow Red Raiders, to congratulate you on an extraordinary achievement. You have had to overcome so much more than any graduating class that I know of. During my senior year, my biggest worries were oversleeping and missing an exam, or wondering if my boyfriend would get a job offer in the same city as I did, or or hoping that I would gather all the data I needed to defend my master's thesis on time. I cannot imagine having had to deal with those standard graduation worries at the same time of dealing with a worldwide pandemic. Now, while that pandemic may have made things more difficult than you would like over the last five months, I really hope that you don't let what the pandemic took away from you be your focus right now. I hope that you can find some time today to think back on all of the positive events that have led you to this point in your lives. The support you received from your family, the friends you made, the memories that you've put in place, and start looking forward to the next phase of your lives. To those of you that have lined up a job, 
and or you have chosen to continue your education, I wish you the best of luck. I'm so happy for you. But for those of you that had a plan, but are now unsure of how it's all gonna turn out, given the circumstances in the world, I just encourage you to have faith. I've been working at NASA for 28 years, and I have had a career here beyond my wildest dreams. But you know what? The career that I have had wasn't even close to the one that I imagined for myself when I was in your shoes on graduation day 30 years ago. Two months before my graduation, I had a job offer from NASA in my hand. But then the president declared a nationwide hiring freeze on all federal agencies, and I was my plans were ruined. It, the, the hiring freeze lasted several months, but I was eventually finally able to get into NASA. Then roughly a year into my employment at NASA, I applied for my dream job of being an astronaut. I was selected for interviews, and during the interviews, they discovered that I had kidney stones, which was a lifetime medical disqualification. Now, my issues certainly were not the extent of dealing with a worldwide pandemic, but they were two major events in my life that were beyond my control, that impacted the direction that my life, that I wanted my life to go. Some of you may be facing similar situations right now, some of the obstacles you may be facing are more of a pebble size, like the hiring freeze was for me. For those, I encourage you to tackle them head on. Move those pebbles out of your way, figure out a way to work around them and continue down the path that you have set for yourself. But some of the obstacles may be more like huge boulders, like those big kidney stones were for me. And no matter how hard you try to move those big boulders out of your way, they seem to be unsurmountable. For those types of obstacles, don't waste your time and energy. If they are blocking the path that you wanna take, be courageous and go down a new road, chart a new course. I'll tell you what, I am so glad I had those kidney stones. I am so glad that I did not become an astronaut. The career path that I have had at NASA because of that roadblock has been far more rewarding than anything I could have ever envisioned for myself when I was sitting in your shoes. I've been an instructor for the astronauts. I've lived in Russia. I've worked in Russian mission control, US mission control. I've served as a flight director in charge of mission control. And I never would have gone down those paths had I not been bold enough to choose a new path. So don't let today get you down. I know it's hard, but have faith. Have a positive attitude and be open to changing your course. Remember, you are fearless champions fueled by raider power. You are well equipped to handle anything that this life throws at you. And you have a family in the Red Raider Nation ready to support you and cheer you along. So once again, congratulations, best of luck, and Reckham Tech. Thank you, Regent Carrick. It is now my pleasure to introduce our student speakers. We asked these students what it meant to them to graduate from Texas Tech, and they will share those impressions with us now. Our graduate speaker is Armando Elizalde Velasquez, graduating with a Doctor of Philosophy in Environmental Toxicology. And our undergraduate speaker is Rachel Givens, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. Graduating with a PhD from Texas Tech University means the accomplishment of a goal that I set for myself 10 years ago. It comes with a lot of pride and a great responsibility, being the first in my family to earn a PhD from a worldwide recognized university. Three years ago when I received my letter of admission from Texas Tech University, I remember being very excited about the possibility of pursuing an education in the United States. But at the same time, I remember being a little bit worried for not being able to pay the fees and tuition required for my education. Thankfully, due to the generosity of Mr. Arthur Waterman and the Helen Jones Foundation in the forms of fellowships and scholarships, I was able to pursue my dream and focus only on my research endeavors. I came to Texas Tech from Mexico looking for a top tier education, but at TTU I found much more than that. At Texas Tech, I became part of TIE, 
a renowned scientific community that has allowed me to collaborate and network with scientists from different universities and countries that share the same passion and interest as me in environmental toxicology. It gave me the opportunity to occupy a leadership position in an important professional society at local and regional level. It allowed me to improve my science communication skills by participating in the two minute thesis competition when I was awarded more than once. And it also provided me with valuable knowledge and technical skills to provide high quality research upon which environmental and human health policy decisions can be made. But what is more important is that along my career at Texas Tech and the three years that I have lived in Lubbock, Texas, have met people, made friends, and shared memories inside and outside of Texas Tech that have had a great impact in my personal life. And those memories and friendships are something that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. As an international student, I can tell that graduating from Texas Tech is a great honor and will definitely change my life forever. And for that, I would like to thank every single person that has been involved in my success, especially my parents. Thanks, Mom and Dad, this PhD is for you. To my fellow graduates and the class 2020, congratulations for reaching this milestone, despite the challenges that we have faced in the last couple of months. Graduating in the middle of a pandemic, surrounded with all the uncertainties and changes, is not the scenario that we wish to start our career. But that is something out of our control. What we can control is how we are going to react. And this is the moment to demonstrate that we are fearless and we are ready to strive for honor. So class 2020, go out there, pursue your dreams, and show everyone that from here it's possible. Hello. My name is Rachel Gibbons, and I am honored to share this amazing moment with my fellow graduates. Graduating from Texas Tech University means many things for us as students. First, it is an achievement well worth celebration. After spending hours in a classroom, studying, working, and learning, we finally made it to the finish line. All of the stress and anxiety, meetings with professors, and perseverance through the unexpected situation the pandemic created has finally paid off for us. This is one of the biggest milestones we have collectively achieved as graduates of the class of 2020. Our class will not be remembered for what we have quote unquote lost during the pandemic. We have reason to be joyful and celebrate everything we have gained. We gained an experience unique to us and we gained new insight for our purpose and for our goals. In the face of adversity, we the class of 2020 finished strongly and revealed a greater inner strength within us that will remain with us wherever we go. For some of us, it means we are ready to enter the workforce and proudly practice the skills, knowledge, and values Texas Tech has cultivated within us. For others, this is a stepping stone to go beyond and continue working for knowledge and experience through a higher professional degree. But for each and every single one of us, graduating from Texas Tech University means we are the image of what Texas Tech is capable of producing and forming in its students. Some of the core values we have learned together include integrity and perseverance in troubled times, as well as pride when we overcome and achieve our goals. Most importantly, Texas Tech taught us what it means to strive for honor. And with this, we have a special pride in our work and in our school. We are a unified student body, and our bond with one another lives on after graduation. Moving forward, we go out to spread the professional leadership skills the school has refined within us so that we can give back to Texas Tech and serve one another. I believe every single graduate from Texas Tech is a servant leader, and through this, we can show others what our school is all about. Graduating from Texas Tech is not the end for us. It is our obligation to represent the values, diversity, work ethic, and unity Texas Tech gave us to the wider population beyond our campus. We are proud to call ourselves Red Raiders because from this moment on, we are representatives of our university to the state of Texas, the United States of America, and the rest of the world. Thank you, and congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Armando and Rachel. I would now like to introduce the Provost of Texas Tech University, Dr. Michael Gallion. 
Degrees are awarded to those who have successfully completed all requirements established by the university and the faculties of their colleges and departments. President Skubinek, the candidates are recommended to you for the conferring of their respective degrees. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Texas Tech University, I confer upon each of you the degree for which the provost has recommended you. You may now turn your tassels to the left. Also, at this time, those who have the official Texas Tech Alumni Association class ring may turn their rings outward. Congratulations. We will now proceed with the recognition of individual graduates. Hello, I'm Noel Zoller, Dean of the JT and Margaret Talkington College of Visual and Performing Arts. By now you have heard, maybe dozens of times, how unique you are as graduates. You have had to adapt to the moment, adjusting in crisis the methods you have employed to achieve a goal long since begun. The world changed quickly, and yet you have persevered and achieved your goal. Now we challenge you once again, achieve more. You've had the opportunity to be at a major public university that supports an ambitious arts education and a college that inspires students to communicate through artistic tradition while embracing and creating innovative technologies as vehicles for individual expression and social change. A college that encourages imagination, creativity, ingenuity, and compassion. That is not the society you enter. Dana Joya, a former National Endowment of the Arts chairperson, a poet, and a writer, once proposed an experiment. He sought to ask Americans how many NBA, NFL, and reality TV show starts they could name, while comparing that to the number of classical musicians, poets, playwrights, and artists they could name. He also wondered if they could name scientists. You can imagine the disparity in the answers he might receive to these questions. He recognized the role of society as economics, that a person's knowledge of art is corrupted by entertainment, which serves the marketplace. However, to compete in the global marketplace, the United States needs unique cultivated human beings, capable of vision and full of imagination, the kind of person an arts education produces, the kind of people you have become. While it is true that the global society, through social media, streaming services, etc., has leaned on the arts for comfort and entertainment during the COVID-19 pandemic, the virus has shut down theaters, museums, concert halls, and opera houses. Our cultural institutions have suffered both immediate and long-term effects. Yet the world needs the arts and the people who create those works, not just for comfort or to add the media to media consumption, but to view the world through a different lens, to provide a different perspective, to tell the truth about ourselves and explain our uncertain world in a way distinct from and equal to science. This is what you must achieve. This is the mantle of artists. This is why we study the arts. Fulfill your destiny and make us proud. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our undergraduate speaker, Brianna Velasquez, graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in graphic design. We asked Brianna what it meant to her to graduate from Texas Tech University. Hello, everyone. My name is Brianna Velasquez, and I am an undergraduate from the Talkington School of Visual and Performing Arts. I'm graduating with a Bachelor's of Fine Art with a specialization in Graphic Design. 
I transferred to this institution with the intent to hone my skills for, you see, personal growth, both as a human being and a graphic designer, is something that is very important to me. I'm proud to say that I achieved that feat. I'll forever value the knowledge I gained from this school. I truly love the focus on design history and artistic principles in graphic design and their application to current trends. They help me each and every day, and I know that they will continue to do so for many years to come. One of my favorite memories of my time at Texas Tech was when I first set foot into my symbols class with Dirk Fowler. I'll admit, I was rather quiet and I didn't know anyone, but as time progressed, we, I became good friends with my classmates and spent much of my time cracking jokes as we all worked to produce our best work through the challenges our instructors provided for us. I'll miss every single one of them, dearly. But I know we've all built a strong network and that will also assist me in the coming years. I'm excited, honored, and most of all, thankful for all the opportunities this wonderful institution provided for me. I simply cannot wait to apply my newfound skills to my industry. And I look forward to the career that I've crafted for myself through education. I wanna say thank you, Texas Tech, from the bottom of my heart. I'm extremely proud and very excited for my future endeavors as a Red Raider. Reckham. Many congratulations to each and every one of you on your graduation. Reckham Tech. Congrats, grads, Reckham. Congratulations, art students, you're graduating. We are so proud of you. We have seen you grow and change over these few years from, from nervous first year students to confident seniors. You're creative thinkers, you're innovators. You're the people who are gonna walk into the job and say, there's gotta be a better way to do this. And you're gonna find the better way. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. We really enjoy being with you guys. We hope you'll come back. And I do really hope that you're gonna remember your time here as a time where you grew a lot, where you learned a lot, and a time where you moved beyond the beginning towards something that's new and exciting. Congratulations, good luck, and we're cheering for you. You did it! Congratulations. Hey, congratulations, miss y'all. Hey y'all, behind me is where I first met most of you. A big part of your academic journey at Texas Tech University began back there. It was safe and comfortable, but we all know what currently lies in front of me is new and shiny and full of potential. And now it's time to begin a new journey. And it's okay to look back sometimes. What lies behind us is important, but I can't wait to see the new and shiny that's in store for all of you. Yay, congratulations guys, you did it. Congratulations graduates, Reckham Tech. Congrats on graduating. Good luck for the road ahead. Hi, I'm Kim Walker, director of the School of Music. It gives me enormous pleasure to salute our graduates. You arrived here as emerging professionals, already highly skilled when you came some years ago, but you depart as accomplished professionals, educators, performers, and scholars. We know that the Work here at the School of the Music is transformative and sets a foundation for years of preparation yet to come. This is actually a journey of a lifetime. So we salute you, we congratulate you, we are so very proud of you, and we are now just getting behind decades of watching you and your accomplishments as our alumni. We look forward to welcoming you back now and in future again and again and again. Congratulations and bravo. Congratulations. Congratulations. Go. Be awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. We're so proud of you and we look forward to your many successes. You made it. Guns up. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, graduates. I know all of you are going to be very successful. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Reckham Tech and go change the world. Congratulations, graduates. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations. I am so excited for you. You have worked so hard to complete this degree in this stage of your life. You have so many wonderful things to look forward to in your future. Stay in touch with us as we want to know how and what you are doing. Guns up. 
We're so proud of you. Congratulations, class of 2020! I just wanted to say how proud I am of all of you. You have all worked very hard, and it's so exciting to start this new chapter. I'm sure you won't miss my constant emails harassing you to schedule your appointments with me, but I'll miss seeing you every semester and helping you reach this final goal. I'll miss those of you who always knew what they were doing and came to your appointments completely prepared. And I'll also miss those of you who were completely clueless and trusted me to tell you what to take every semester. I'll definitely miss those of you who took time out of your busy lives to stop by just to chat and joke around with me. Graduation happens every semester, but it doesn't get easier, and this year is especially difficult since I can't actually say goodbye in person. Just know that I care about all of you and only wish the best for you in your exciting new future. Please let me know what you are doing and where you are going. And as the amazing Walt Disney used to say, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations, wonderful graduates of our theater and dance program 2020. You've earned our trust, love, and respect. Because you have spent years harnessing your imaginations, you are the perfect group of students to transport us to whatever platform you dream of. As we traverse this virtual stage, paradoxically alone together, you're poised not only to understand, but to create community. Take the skills you have learned and know that no matter the challenge, you're more than equipped to overcome it. You will make this world a better place. We couldn't be prouder. Good work, everyone. Congratulations, graduates. Wreck em tech and go change the world. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good job. Congrats. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, graduates. Graduate degrees are conferred through the graduate school upon recommendation by the graduate faculty. We will begin by recognizing those who have achieved the highest academic designation, a doctoral degree. Following the recognition of our doctoral recipients, we will recognize those students who are receiving master's degrees. Banner bearer for the graduate school, Dr. Jonathan E. Verbeaton, hooding professor, Dr. Christopher J. Smith. Dr. Luis Fernando Rayo, hooding professor, Dr. Tatiana Mann. Dr. Gregory Patrick Saliskis, hooding professor, Dr. Lisa Rogers. Dr. Elizabeth Ashley West Davis, Hooding Professor, Dr. Rebecca Hayes. Dr. Kun Yuan Guo, Hooding Professor, Dr. Christopher Smith. Dr. Jared Timothy Stanley, Hooding Professor, Dr. Heather Warren Crow. Dr. Excel Michael Haonga, Hooding Professor, Dr. Jacqueline Henninger. Trenton Lamar Davis. Deborah Thames Sider. Heather Elizabeth Bolin. Jose G. Garcia. Marvin Noel Garduno. Kimberly Lynn Gonzalez. Nikisha N. Haley. Christopher Michael Kirby. Andrew Tatsuji Krupski. Julian William Luke. Gabriel Alejandro Molina. Kendall Elaine Newman. Allison Elaine Speziali. Zachary Desmond Steele. Daniel Scott Timmerman. Diana Araceli Trevino. We will now recognize the graduates receiving the baccalaureate degree in the College of Visual and Performing Arts. Banner bearer for the JT and Margaret Talkington College of Visual and Performing Arts, magna cum laude, Michelle Shin. Paige Allison Barger, Emily M. Peak, Michael Anthony Werner with honors from the Honors College, 
Taylor Shea Lindstrom. Brianna Elisa Velasquez, summa cum laude. Hannah Noel Wilstrup. Paxton Elise Yeager. Samuel T. Acosta. John Alvarado. Jasmine Alitza Andrade. Dylan McDowell Junkin. Nicole Yanin Magalon. Michael Elise McDonald, cum laude. Blake Sean Wells. Congratulations to all graduates. In an effort to keep all of you connected, each undergraduate will receive a complimentary one-year membership to the Texas Tech Alumni Association, made possible by the Office of the President, and a one-year membership to the Red Raider Club, made possible by a generous gift from George and Linda McMahon. It all began with the first loud and proud graduates of Texas Tech. Those dreamers and trailblazers had a vision to create an organization that would serve as a connection for alumni to one another and to the school they loved so dearly. A vision to give back by supporting the next generation and help the university continue to grow and strive. That vision for the Texas Tech Alumni Association has never changed. We represent more than 200,000 alumni across the world. No matter what you do or where your life takes you, you're part of the loud and proud alumni of Texas Tech. You're one of us. to maintain contact with Texas Tech University through your Alumni Association. The Association is particularly pleased to honor the undergraduate students ranking highest academically in each college and will recognize this accomplishment with a plaque mailed to each of the highest ranking students. Please join me in congratulating these honor students. We also want to pay honor to those students receiving teacher certification along with their degree. Please join me in congratulating these future teachers. Graduates, as we come to the end of this commencement exercise, I appreciate the opportunity to again offer my personal congratulations. You should know that the Texas Tech University community is proud of you, just as are your parents, loved ones and friends. And I know you join with me in acknowledging and thanking them for all they have done to help you get to this important point in your life. The contributions of our faculty and staff have also been an essential part of your educational experience. And I join with you in acknowledging the important role they have played in your educational and personal development while at Texas Tech University. You've changed and grown during the time you've been at Texas Tech, but you've made a difference in Texas Tech as well. You've impacted the lives of your classmates, some of whom will be among your best friends for the rest of your life. Your personal successes and achievements have and will continue to elevate the reputation of our university. With your talents, your Texas Tech education, and the persistence you've displayed in earning your degree, you are well positioned to succeed. But your ultimate success in life is not determined by what you know today, but rather by what you continue to learn and how you continue to grow, both professionally and personally. Be a lifelong learner. Nurture your intellectual curiosity. Be committed to your family, to your friends, to your community, and to causes that make a difference in this world. 
you reveal your Red Raider character from the commitments you make. Strive for honor evermore. That is an essential part of what Texas Tech is about. And because you are Red Raiders, there is an expectation that you will change the world for the better. We know that you will add to that legacy. Remember that Texas Tech University will always be your home and friendships made here will always be a part of your life. Stay connected to Texas Tech. Your university will be the better for it. Return to campus when you can and tell the world with pride that you are a Red Raider. To the class of August 2020, I extend my heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for success. And always, go Tech. And now, let's join in the Singing in the Matter to Song, which will be led by the 2019-2020 University Choir. <laughs> 